Hi, I'm Paris. I know it's mid-September here in Austin. It's about 90 degrees out. Still looking for ways to stay cool. On afternoons where I've been outside for a while, I've used the Enduro Cool. This is a typical cooling towel. Get it wet, put it around your neck, and the evaporation cools you down. Today at the store, I found a new personal cooling solution. It's the As Seen on TV U-Cool. This uses evaporative cooling. There's basically a cloth material in this with metal pieces and fins that stick out. So you're basically wearing a radiator around your neck. Epic review, guys. Evaporative cooling does work, especially in places with lower humidity. I think we've got a pretty good test case outside here today. The U-Cool system claims to multiply that effect by using these cooling fins so there's more surface area to evaporate the water and they have little metal pieces that rest against your skin to improve the heat transfer and pull that heat away from you. Doesn't require any batteries, there are no moving parts, though it looks pretty fancy. It ought to perform kind of fancy for $20. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. And here it is. It's flexible, it comes in two sizes. I got the large, extra large, which is neck sizes 15 inches and up. Here it is, up close, you can see in between the fins, that there's that gray line, that's actually cushy. That's uh, yet another thicker sponge material. And that, as well as the material that goes down from each fin, makes contact with these little metal pieces that will be pressing against your skin. Bonus points if you get my Star Trek reference here. To use it, it's simply a matter of getting it wet, running it under a faucet, or spraying it, shaking off the excess, and then putting it on your neck. It's not hugging me very close here. You know, this is pretty loose. Now, my neck is about at 16 and a half, so this should hold on pretty good. Let's see what the instructions have to say. It says twist it in if you want it tighter, and pull it out if you want it wider. So. Ah, that is a little better. Okay, let me do a little more. Uh-oh! Where did that come from? Oh, it came from the inside of this. Seems like it just snapped back on. Now it's snug. I can feel the contact all the way from the back and around here. Ready to get it wet and ready to do some comparison with the Enduro Cool Towel. And in addition to my subjective sense of which is cooler, going to use my infrared thermometer to get some neck temperatures before I start, after using this, and after using this. The instructions say this should work so long as the humidity is under 50%. Let me dip it in this bowl of water. Shake it to get the loose water off of it. Okay. Quick scan of my neck. 90. Is that accurate? Let's try this side. 90. Okay, it's 90. Here we go. Feels very cold. Cold, wet metal. Mmm. And I will test it outside in the real world heat after doing the comparison here. Not quite as cold now, or maybe I'm just getting used to it. How is it for fashion, by the way? Will people be looking at me askew? I gotta make a note with my fingers of where to check the temperature. Okay. Eighty-two! Approximately here. I can still I can feel that the skin is cooler in this area. 79. That was quite a drop, about 10 degrees. After five minutes, I noticed my neck was still cold and I realized I had gotten the collar of the shirt wet, so it was acting as a cooling towel. Time to take the Enduro Cool and dampen it. By the way, it's supposed to last for 60 to 90 minutes, and I think that's about the same for how long this is supposed to keep you cool. I've got a cape going on now. All right, single layer. 
It's very cool, but not staying really cold, warming up pretty quickly. Okay, that's been a couple minutes. Single layer with a little bit of breeze. That should have given it some good evaporative cooling. Let's see. 83. 86. Time to move this party outside and see how these do. It is plenty warm outside, but it doesn't feel so bad. I'm wearing the U-Cool right now, and it's actually keeping me kind of cool. Well, there's a little bit of a breeze, but it's a warm breeze, and I can feel the heat blowing across the rest of me, but when the breeze hits this, it actually does feel cool. Time to check the neck temperature. <laughs> I don't know what the neighbors think when they see this. 83! Eighty-four. It's working pretty well out here. The collar of the shirt got very wet again from the U-Cool, so I had to change out shirts. I'm now using the Endura Cool. I refreshed it with some more water. Walk around a little, see what temperature I get. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. Well, I'm kind of impressed by how well the As Seen on TV U-Cool worked. And to touch these metal pieces, even right now, they're actually cold. And three problems to mention that I had with the U-Cool. One is it drips a lot, at least for the first while after you start using it. It got the collar of every shirt wet. Second, you didn't see this on camera, but when I was um, tightening this up to wear it the second time, that plastic piece popped off again. And lastly, also off camera, when I was taking this off once, it managed to catch a hair on my neck and pull. It's got that sort of flexible band. Just putting it back on now, it, it gives me chills. It, it feels so cold against my skin, those cold metal plates. And it'll stay cold for a while, so this does, at least psychologically and by a few degrees, make me feel a lot cooler than a typical athletic cooling towel does. Honestly, I was expecting this to be more of a gimmicky thing, but it actually seems to work. If it's still summer in your neighborhood, you'd like to find out more about the As Seen on TV You Cool, you can check it out at the link down below this video. I'll be back soon with more As Seen on TV and other product reviews. You can keep checking back for those, or you can click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic Review